I'm gonna show you the easiest stuffed bell pepper recipe and it's gonna take you like less than 45 minutes to do it. Let's get to it. First things first, I'm gonna preheat the oven at 350 and then we're gonna dice up an onion and jalapeno for our beef. I'm just gonna dice up half, I'm saving the other half for our salad. I cut up the salad onion too. This is just thin strips. I unfortunately am not a huge fan of raw onion. I know it's a major flaw. Whenever I'm prepping it for a salad, I always set it in a separate little bowl. I take some apple cider vinegar and just fill her up. And then she's just gonna chill while I do everything else. Now I'm gonna work on my jalapeno. I'm gonna keep everything in there because Philip is a spicy boy. Then I'm going to open up the Wagyu beef and this goes on the stove. You're just gonna break up the meat and brown it. While that's cooking, I'm gonna prep everything else. Baking pan, line it with parchment paper. This is the last of our Costco bell peppers and I'm using all of them. Be right back, I'm gonna go get them washed. I'm gonna use a smaller knife just so I can be a little more precise. Remove the stem, like a pumpkin. Okay, then I'm going to slice them all in half. Go back to my little knife and just clean out and get the insides nice and prepped. Okay, we're done with the cutting board. I've got, I'm pretty sure that's Gouda. Sounds Gouda to me. For me, whenever it comes to sauce or cheese or toppings, it's a measure with your heart thing. So that's what we're gonna do on this Gouda, okay? I feel good about this. Let me show you how beautiful this beef is. All right, so once you've got it brown, you're gonna take it off the stove. It's totally fine if it's a little undercooked because everything's going in the oven again. And we take our bell peppies and we fill them up. For tonight, I only cooked up a pound of beef. I feel like that is the perfect amount for three whole bell peppers that you slice in half. I know we only did onion and jalapeno tonight, but the world is your oyster. Feel free to put whatever you want in here, like mushrooms would be really good. Maybe a little bit of um, diced sofrito, so you could do some uh, carrots, celery, and onion. Like that would be really good. And there you go. For the cheese, we're gonna measure with our hearts. So this is gonna go in the oven, 350, probably 25-ish minutes or so. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it because that's just how I cook. I don't time things perfectly, so I'm just gonna throw them in. While the peppers are in the oven, I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest salad ever. Start out with some super greens. You can use spinach, you can use arugula, you can use kale, you can use romaine, you can use butter lettuce, you can use whatever you want. Dice up an avocado. In. The onions that I pickled earlier, I just drained them. Dump that in. I'm also gonna throw in some pumpkin seeds and feta. Just going in with olive oil, apricot flavored balsamic, and I'm just gonna use the last of that. The salt and pepper. I'm gonna give everything a toss. Whenever I'm pulling together a salad, of course you're gonna have your lettuce, but I love to include another veggie or fruit, so that was my avocado. Something sour, pickled onions, you can do olives, you can do capers, some kind of nut or seed. I use pumpkin seeds this time, but almonds, cashews, anything goes. Some kind of cheese, love feta in my salads. And then with all of those components, I always feel like a good olive oil and vinegar is all you need for the dressing. You can also add a little Dijon, maybe a little bit of honey if you want some of that sweetness, but those are my salad components. And that's it. Cheesy, beefy, jalapeno, spicy, stuffed bell peppers. Let's eat. So easy and delicious. You're gonna love it. So juicy. That is packed with flavor. You're gonna love it. Another banger.